Okay, hey there, Space Fish here. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make a very simple Celsius to Fahrenheit converter and vice versa in C Sharp Visual Studio. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and click New Project, click on Windows Forms Application, change the name to something like Temperature Converter. Go ahead and click OK. It'll begin to build our app. And from here, we can go start building the user interface aspects of it. So let's grab a combo box right here let's grab uh, we can copy and paste and add another combo box then we're gonna add a label uh, this label is going to just say two so it's gonna be very simple uh, change the text to say two let's actually change the form text to say temperature converter Right there, perfect. All right, um, let's add another label, and right here will be our result. So this is where we're going to output the result, and let's add a third label, and that actually will be our result. Let's add a text box, and that's where you will be inputting your temperature that we're going to go and convert. And lastly, let's add a button that you will press to actually convert everything. Let's change the button name to convert, and we can go ahead and change the actual name up here to btm convert. Okay, perfect. So right now we should have a text box, we have two combo boxes, we have a two label, we have a result label, we have a third label that's going to actually hold our output result, um, and we have a convert button. So that's simple enough. Let's go ahead and go into our code. So we'll go into the form right here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a array that has the components for our um, combo boxes. So basically it's just going to say Celsius and Fahrenheit. Um, so those are going to be the only two options, Celsius and I'm a really bad speller, and I can't remember to spell Fahrenheit, so I'll Fahrenheit right there. All right, perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and copy and paste this. We're going to do this again. Change your string or your array variable to B, and we're just going to flip these around. And then we're going to bind these to our combo boxes. So we'll have combo box one dot text, or sorry, 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 da dot data source, equals a and then we're going to do the same again for combo box 2 dot data source equals b um, and i'll go ahead and just show you what that looks like all that's going to do is once it builds our app show this one as celsius you know you can pick between the two so we'll go ahead and close that we don't need that anymore all right next we're going to go ahead and actually work on our convert button so what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the convert button uh, all right, and the first thing we're going to do is grab some, uh, or rather make our variables. So let's uh, make them a double, and let's make the first double um, our starting temp, and then let's make the second double our result temp. All right, and then to get to the starting temp, we need to grab the input in the text box, and the way that we do that is we do starting temp equals... And then let's see, so our text box one, and we're gonna do dot text. And actually, you know what? Because this is not uh, initially a double, we're gonna do um, double dot parse. So we can get that to be correct. Okay, so that's our starting temp. So what we want to do now is make our result temp um, the result of the proper calculation that we need to convert the numbers. Duh. So what we're going to do is say if our combo box, we'll say combo box one dot text is equal to Celsius and combo box two dot text is equal to Fahrenheit we and I already have it right here 
we'll do the following conversion. So the result temp is going to be equal to our starting temp times 1.8 plus 32. All right, and then we're going to do this again, and we're just going to reverse it. So combo box one dot text equals Fahrenheit. Oops, and combo box two dot text equals Celsius. We're going to have result temp be equal to this little ditty right here for Fahrenheit. And let's change that up. Always remember to end with a semicolon, otherwise we will have an issue there. Um, so right now we have the calculation, but the problem is if we go ahead and just press convert, while it will do the calculations correctly, we're not outputting it yet. So the next thing we're going to do is output everything to the um, that blank label. So label 3, I believe, is what it was. So we're going to go ahead and take label 3 dot text is equal to result temp to string. All right, and we're going to just go ahead and do that again down here. All right, so that should be all we need. So let's go ahead and start and run our application and see what we get. So uh, right now we have uh, zero here. So let's go ahead and put zero, and we're doing zero Celsius to Fahrenheit. Convert. Look at that, 32. That is correct. That is uh, the baseline for Celsius to Fahrenheit. Let's just try ahead and... Uh, change this up so let's do Fahrenheit to Celsius so 32 degrees Fahrenheit should show zero and it does perfect um, so that's a little ugly if you wanted to do something like if you wanted to do plus uh, you know degrees in then this one will be Celsius and then you know you could do the exact same thing down here but for Fahrenheit You know, all your answers now will look a little bit better. We could do zero, and it now says 32 degrees in Celsius rather than just 32. Um, again, if you wanted to uh, make sure that that label isn't so ugly, you can just take out the text, blank out the text, uh, and now, you know, there's nothing there until you actually use one of your conversions. So if you did 45, convert, 113 degrees in Celsius. So there you go. That's your simple uh, temperature conversion. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Uh, otherwise, thanks a lot.